Okay, so we're going to do a, an application problem or a word problem. They give us these because they say students, you know, learn better. They learn the material better when they can see how it relates to the real world. So, and this is kind of a cute problem. So, I don't know how cute any of the problems are, but anyway. Okay, so it says a large mixing tank currently contains 100 gallons of water into which 5 pounds of sugar have been mixed. So that's the starting point. We're starting with 5 gallons of, um, I'm sorry, 100 gallons of water and 5 pounds of sugar. Okay? So remember that. We'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, a tap will open, pouring 10 gallons per minute of water into the tank at the same time sugar is poured into the tank at a rate of 1 pound per minute. Okay, so they're going to open these taps, and one's going to dispense water at a rate of 10 gallons per minute. The other one's dispensing sugar at a rate of 1 pound per minute. Okay, so over time, the number of gallons of water and the number of pounds of sugar is going to change. Okay, find the concentration, pounds per gallon. Okay, so we kind of need that information that we're finding pounds per gallon of sugar to the tank after 12 minutes. Okay, is that a greater concentration than at the beginning? All right, so let's start at the beginning. We're doing concentration, so the concentration, and no minutes have passed, okay? So we're just saying right at the beginning, how much, uh, how many pounds of sugar do we have? Five. And how many gallons of water do we have? A hundred. Okay? So let's leave that alone for right now. But that's how you would find the concentration. We know that because that tells us pounds per gallon. Okay, that's the concentration. Now we're going to create a function, C of T. Because the number of gallons and the number of pounds is going to change over time. So keeping the pounds in the numerator, so that's the sugar, that's the sugar, and the gallons in the denominator, that's going to be the water, and then we're going to write this. Well, we're starting out with 5 pounds of sugar, and then every minute that goes by, we're adding 1 pound. So 1 pound per minute. Now what we're saying here is T is the number of minutes that go by. Okay? So that's why in the starting one, I said C of zero, because no minutes had passed by. Probably should explain that better. But. Okay, so now we're creating this function of concentration based on time, how many minutes have gone by. So for sugar, you're starting with five pounds, but then we're going to add a pound for every minute. Okay. In the denominator, we're starting with 100 gallons, and we're adding 10 gallons for every minute that goes by, okay? All right, so big moment here. This is a rational expression. You have a polynomial in the numerator, and you have a polynomial in the denominator, okay? It's not a very fancy one. It's not very big, um, and that's okay. We don't often have them super huge, but um, you notice that the numerator is linear, and the denominator is linear as well, okay? But that would be the function for concentration. Now it says it wants us to find the concentration after 12 minutes. So now we need to go C of 12, and we're going to find out that concentration. We don't really need the 1. After 12 minutes. So we're going to be adding like 120 gallons of water and 12 pounds of sugar. Okay, And this is going to equal... 17, if you do that math, over, what, 220? Okay, now for concentration, they usually want us to go with like a decimal. So I would pull out a calculator. I'm going to pull out my calculator right now and figure out that concentration. So 17 divided by 220, and I'm getting, it's about 0 0.077, okay? So that's about the concentration. Um, they ask us in the final question here, is this concentration, uh, is it greater than at the beginning? Okay, 
So this is the concentration right now. Concentration after 12 minutes. Oops. The concentration is about 0 0.07. So do we think that's, you know, going to be bigger? Well, you could think about it logically a little bit. We're adding a pound of sugar and we're adding 10 pound or 10 gallons of water or we can look at it mathematically go back to the beginning back to your 5 over 100 divide that out okay and so when we started at no minutes the concentration was 0 0.05 so it looks like after 12 minutes it has a greater concentration of sugar okay so is that a greater concentration Yes, this is greater. Yes, this is greater. So it's getting more sugary as time goes by. Maybe they're making Kool-Aid. Okay.